Silly Sally by Audrey Wood. Silly Sally. Look at those beautiful details in this picture. Lots of great illustrations. Silly Sally went to town, walking backwards, upside down. On the way, she met a pig, a silly pig. They danced a jig. Silly Sally went to town, dancing backwards, upside down. On the way, she met a dog, a silly dog. They played leap frog. Silly Sally went to town, leaping backwards, upside down. Take a look at this picture. Wow, those are some amazing details. There's Silly Sally, the pig who danced a jig, the dog who played leapfrog. They're dance, leaping backwards, upside down. And look at that city, the town. There's the bridge, wonderful details. On the way, she met a loon, a silly loon. They sang a tune. Silly Sally went to town, singing backwards, upside down. On the way, she met a sheep, a silly sheep. They fell asleep. Now, how did Sally get to town, sleeping backwards, upside down? Along came Nettie Buttercup, walking forward, right side up. He tickled the pig who danced the jig. He tickled the dog who played leapfrog. He tickled the loon who sang a tune. He tickled the sheep who fell asleep. He tickled Sally who woke right up. She tickled Nettie Buttercup. Look at that picture. They look like they're having a lot of fun. Missed a, she took a many buttercup, and that's how Sally got to town. Walking backwards, upside down. Now here's my question to you. Is this fiction or non-fiction? Could it really happen? No. So it's fiction. Think about your favorite picture. What did you like about it? Where was the setting? Where was she going? First in the story, she was walking backwards upside down. Do you remember the characters in the story? Did you say a pig? And a dog? A loon and the sheep and then there was also Nettie Buttercup. Lots of characters. Thanks for listening to the story and you even got to see my dogs. Have a great day. Bye.